Hello all, Shoestring here. I've received my Morningstar or TriStar TSM2 monitor today. It will go on my TS45. That's my charge controller. And we're going to open it up. I'll pop the box open because I can't do it with two hands as I'm holding the camera. So what do we have? We have some an instruction book and an entire operations manual that could come in handy and let's see have a connection cord right there and the actual device itself now i bought this because i wanted something a little bit more advanced and, of course, shoestring, so on a sale. A lot of the decent monitors for batteries are extremely expensive. This one is made to go on actual onto my charge controller, which I've shown in some other videos before. And it's supposed to do a lot of what a battery monitor is supposed to do. Here's a quick look at it. And, of course, the back ah, connections. That looks like the cord fits into. All right, so we'll take a quick look at this. To TriStar, we'll read the book, see where it actually goes. And I'll show everyone when I actually connect this. And we'll see how well it works. Okay, so... At the moment, we're going to set this down, and we're going to wait till it gets daylight, which it isn't at the moment, and we're going to go connect it. G-string back here. I have my Morningstar TSM2 monitor. It's going to monitor the solar panels and the battery. Already went through the unboxing of it. There's the cable. And what I'm going to do now is, of course, attempt to install it. They did send a very nice instruction manual. That means absolutely nothing. Because it really makes no sense. Uh, but there it is. They sent it. It's all printed real nicely. And they sent this nice flow chart. See right here? Also doesn't mean much to me. Okay, so basically what we're going to do, take it out of the package, just like that. That's what it looks like. We are going to unscrew our front panel to this charge controller. Just do a little bit at each side. The Phillips screwdriver. Open up each one a little before I take them all the way out. Attempting, of course, not to drop them, which I have dropped many screws in my time. Most of the time when I drop something, it uh, disappears and I can't find it again. Hopefully that won't happen this time. There it is. So, on the back, it says TriStar and Meter. I'm going to use the one that says TriStar.
and we're going to hope it works. Looks like only one real connection that can be used. That's in. And that one's in. Let's uh, try to set it in here, but it doesn't interfere with the lights. Okay, so I've got it hooked back up. I got the screws back in. I have put some tape around here just to make sure that there is no grime, no bugs can get in there. Just added protection. I don't think it's needed, but there it is anyway, just to make sure everything goes well. As you hopefully you can see some of that 13.4 volts. It's got 348 amp hours. Move that around a little bit. There's the volts and almost no activity. This shows you that it will charge up to 15 and cut it off as low as 11.1, which is fine with me. I never let it get that far. I watch it. But I just want to know, there again says float 27 watts, 13.4 volts still. I'm going to look up what all these means. Anyone have experience with this? Jump on in and tell us what you think. So, my new battery and charge controller monitor is, is in the TSM2, which goes with, of course, my charge controller, TriStar. And that's how we got it. That's how we hooked it up. And I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you want to see something else, please let me know. And uh, that sh oh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with someone and put a comment in. Shoestring out.